decorations for this show, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to KatsuCon! <laughs> I'm Samurai Dan. This is... I don't need to be as loud now, do I? <sighs> I have done to, to cut off microphones. With me, as always, is the lovely and talented Lady Jillian, and we are here. That's okay, back in school you had your own bus, too. <laughs> I'll be sleeping in the hallway tonight, as normal. I think you're definitely right. These people didn't come to watch us swing swords around in the air. They want me to swing one at you. Yeah. Oh yeah, encourage this. Thanks. Alright, fine. Instead of telling, teaching you everything you need to know about how to wield a samurai sword, I'm going to teach you what to do when someone attacks you with one. And I know what you're thinking. You're going, the time of the sword is passed. No one cares. No one's going to jump out from around a corner and attack me with a three-foot sharpened razor blade. This is the point of the weekend where I point out that you just happen to be at one of the largest anime cons in the world. Oh yeah, you know what that means? It means you are surrounded by thousands of people in anonymous costumes, heavily armed, with poor impulse control. So if it's going to happen anywhere, it'll be here. And you need to know what to do, because normal human reaction, some psychotic blonde, I mean, um, <sighs> your lovely and talented wife, may jump out from around the corner with a sword and swing it. And if you don't train, this is normally what you get. <laughs> and just so we're clear, the fetal position, not only was this not made against on the battlefield, it won't help you in your dating life either. <laughs> fetal position didn't work. So if you train a little bit in martial arts, you get what we have as our shout out to the greatest movie of all time, The Karate Kid! <laughs> and that's this. Sword comes in. Hey! Whoa! Wax up! Arm off! <laughs> That really cool overhead lock you learned in karate class is not really intended for swordsmanship. Okay? It's not going to slow it down much. So what the samurai learned after a couple of people did the trial and error and went, oops, that didn't work. What the samurai learned was this amazing thing. If someone takes a three-foot sharp razor blade and swings it at your head, the best thing you can do is move! Well, I didn't say it was rocket science. But when the strike comes in, you get out of the way. Sword comes in, hey. you move. Okay, yeah. they got it. Hey. Back here. Yeah. Back here. No. Where are you going? I'm going to sit with them. Get back here. No. You signed up for this. I did not sign on for this. Two or three times is for the audience to understand what I'm trying to say. Beyond that, it's just abuse. <laughs> and I did not sign on for abuse. Yes, you did. You married me. Yeah. <laughs> you have a point. Alright, fine. Will you continue with the show if you get to play with your sword? Well, yeah, I love... Oh, you... Right! Sorry. Sword combat! What? Yeah. Oh, really? Are your expectations that low? You know why most of you didn't cheer? It wasn't real sword combat. That's not two people... This is not a life or death struggle. What? If we miss, it doesn't matter because we're not aiming at each other. That's not combat on the battlefield. That's not even a good fight at our house on Friday night. <laughs> I mean, um, when your wife misunderstands and tries her best to hit you, she's not aiming over here, she's not aiming over here, that strike's going right down Broadway because on a non bomb that's a lethal injury. Coming down Broadway now. Which brings me to my next point. If someone attacks you with a sword, don't die. 25 years of martial arts training went into this move. Please watch, it's really cool. Bad guy attacks. See this? I call it blocking. I highly recommend blocking. The way it works, sword comes at your head. You take your sword, you put it between their sword and your face, thus preserving this. Yeah, I know. Why bother? Thanks. Um, sweetheart, there's a problem with your just blocking. There was not a problem. That was cool. But, Look, pick, you're forgetting something again. I am not for... Roll up my sleeve, show off the arm, right? Looks like Arnold, huh? No. All right. Folks, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. It is on the internet. <laughs> You've also probably decided that he talks too much, so we're just going to show you this part. Do your cool block again and okay. we'll show him what you're forgetting. Ready? Okay. Got it. Ah! All right. Hit me back. You got it. 
kind of bet. <laughs> Alright, this sucks. You remember that part we talked about a few minutes ago where if somebody takes a razor sharp sword and swings it violently at your head, you should. Look at it, because it's shiny. It is shiny. That's no! <laughs> Convention. We invented the term. Um, there is a new term out there. We learned this about three months ago. It's called ADOS. What it stands for is Attention Deficit Ooh, And I want you to know my wife is loaded with this disease. Wait a minute. That sounded a lot worse than it was. Um, back to our show. So if somebody swings a sword at you, don't just stand there and block. I want you to watch. We're trading jobs though. Enough of this me getting the sword hit over my head. I swing at you. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm gonna do the two parts together, right? The thing you you forgot. I'm gonna block. Yeah, yeah, gonna whatever. I swing. You blah blah blah. Okay. Like I care. I'm a guy. Hey! Yeah, I win. <laughs> that didn't work the way I had planned. You want to try again? Yes, I'm much better the second time. <laughs> oh, like you haven't used that line. Actually, some of you ladies are laughing like you've heard that line before. Well, it's probably a lie this time, too. <laughs> yeah! No! Oh, I still win. So every time I do something, you win. Uh -huh. So I like our dating life. One more. Okay. Go! No! Hey! Off with his head. <laughs> All right, this sucks. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> you don't want to play anymore? No, we're done. This is a bad... Who wrote this part of our show? <laughs> that would be me. I know you didn't write this part of our script. Do you know how I know? How do you there were no crayon marks on my script. Oh, oh yeah, big shot? It's because you ate my box of crayons last night. Is that what that was? Uh -huh. I thought you were cooking again, dear. The bad part was sub rot last night was actually better than normal, and I was going to see if we could have the same thing tonight. Oh, dinner's on you tonight. That could be kind of No! That's it! It's on! Epic fight scene! Yes! To the death! To the pain. Really? To the pain? Of course, all the ladies are like, woo, Princess Bride. Do you know why every woman in the country loves the Princess Bride? There are two reasons. Reason number one, the long lost lovers are reunited after five years. And they rush to each other's arms. And what's the first thing she does? She kicks him off the side of a mountain. And while he's falling, going, ooh, ah, ee, ah. All he gets to say is, as you wish. Reason number two why women like the Princess Bride. The Princess Bride is the only movie in history that proves that chocolate will bring you back from the dead. And if that's true, she's going to live forever. <laughs> well, you know what they say about chocolate, dear. Yeah, it's a substitute for... Oh. <laughs> Alright, fine. You asked for this. May the better samurai win. Now they're laughing at me backstage. <laughs> they're all on my side. I like this game. They won't be after this. You ready? Uh-huh. It's on. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! No! 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 Hey! No! 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 Hey! No! No! Hey! No! 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 Hey! 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 No!
The samurai tested their skills on the battlefield. Go volunteer. Razor sharp sword. Weeds. Tatami mats. Tatami mats. What the samurai discovered was, if you take rice straw, you know rice being the staple of Japanese agriculture? They use its products for everything. They discovered if you gather it into bundles, you tie it off with these authentic 16th century rubber bands. Okay, I'm lazy. You soak the rice straw in water overnight. The water soaks into the fiber so that it swells. It gains weight and density until it takes on the approximate characteristics of human muscle tissue. And this gave the samurai something to practice their lethal craft with. The samurai didn't just cut down, although that's what you saw mostly on the battlefield. They also cut back up because it was really hard to defense. And as luck would have it, samurai armor would evolve to protect from the top down. The inside of the thigh, they had a haidate, basically a divided metal skirt. Metal on the outside, nothing on the inside. And the femoral artery. <coughs> Wait, what? This is still a family show, no femoral artery. Nasty right, blood. If you take the big shiny sharp thing and you slam it to the inside of someone's leg, bad things will happen. <laughs> hey! No! And for any of you who've ever seen a samurai epic or samurai jack, <laughs> the end of the episode, there's always a bad guy. He's big, he's ugly, he's got bad breath, barely speaks English. Actually, that sounds like the <clears throat> former governor of California. What? Um, sword up over his head, and he's flying towards the camera going, ah! Come take my picture, that's always what ends up on Facebook. <laughs> but he's flying towards the camera, waiting for him on the other side is the hero of our epic. Better looking, speaks English, probably gets a girl at the end. Hi, sweetie. But he's waiting the to end the governor's part in the, I mean the bad guy's part in the show, when he lands by cutting him in half. So! And if there's any Zombieland fans still out there, Woo! Rule number two! The double tap. Go! So, does anybody want a souvenir? Now I realize we're in Washington and the odds of someone throwing a pass on the weekend and having somebody catch it is not something you see very often. I'm going to cut one more mat. Really? Uh, well, what? I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? It's my turn. No. How many of you want to see her cut something with a sword? <laughs> that guy. How many of you want to watch her do something incredibly dangerous with a sword? <laughs> really? <laughs> How many of you want to see her do something incredibly dangerous and stupid with a sword? <laughs> How many of you want to see her do something incredibly dangerous and stupid and put my life at risk at the same time? All right, fine. The customer's always right. Let me explain this really quick. I'm going to cut upwards. You know that cut that she would let me describe? I'm going to cut up through the target, and my lovely and talented wife who loves me and worships the ground I walk on, she's going to take the piece I cut off, she's going to cut it in half in midair before it hits the ground. Yeah. Without hitting me. I hate you. Are you ready? I explain it to them so they're ready. The reason why I explain it all, if you want to take pictures, once I get started, it doesn't take me very long. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Alright. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, I'm not. Just a second. What are you doing? Going? You're not even Catholic. It couldn't hurt. Japanese curse that if you do not stay and enjoy every second of this weekend, all of your hair will fall out. He's not kidding. Look, I left early last year. Leave me alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank
you very much. Good morning. Welcome to Ketugan. I'm sorry. Clearly, this didn't work properly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome to Katsukan. <laughs> Wonderful, much better. I'd like to thank our two introductory guests, the Symphonic Anime Orchestra. <laughs> and the unbelievably amazing, incredibly talented, uh, and incredible, beautiful woman with the sword uh, and her assistant samurai dancer, whatever his name was. She'll probably get to it. Thank you guys very much for coming out to opening mm -hmm. ceremonies for uh, this year's amazing, incredible, fantastic, magical, right. and unbelievable Katsukan. How many of you are here for the guests? <laughs> yes. How many of you are here for the cosplay? <laughs> now, I'll be honest, how many of you are here for the dealer's room? <laughs> yeah, merchandise and such. Okay, well, I am actually going to introduce to you two of the individuals responsible for putting on this amazing, incredible, wonderful, magical, and fantastic affair, the conchairs themselves, Greg and Christine. Kristen. <laughs> Give it up for the sexy man. Give it up. Hey, guys. <laughs> Christine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, I'll turn around. I want to welcome you to our convention, KatsuCon 18! <laughs> you have to bear with me a little bit. <laughs> like last week, I broke three ribs, <laughs> and I got bronchitis. So, I'm going to keep this short. Uh, Christine uh, is not here right now. She had to rush to take care of an emergency. So she said, you talk a lot, you go on stage. So I will be representing the both of us. I would like to welcome you guys to KatsuCon. I'm glad that you came up here. Um, how many of you remember me from AMA? Ooh, a few of you, okay. Because at AMA, I am also on stage telling horrible jokes in front of cosplayers. But here, I'm actually one of the chairmen. We have so much, and we're going to be, uh, Robert's going to be talking about a lot of the departments that we have, uh, a lot of the, uh, uh, the guests that we have. We have huge amounts of guests. You didn't come here to see me. You came here to see the guests. You can see the entertainment. Uh, that was amazing. Anytime I ran opening ceremonies for KatsuCon, I never had a decent opening act. I, uh, I just stand up here and said, oh, here's this people, here's that people. And I really want to thank our programming department for putting this all together. Uh, this has just been totally awesome. Um, so, uh, without further ado, uh, I'm going to hand this back off to Robert, so I may chase my wife. Uh, in a convention-related matter. Thank you. I appreciate it. Being <laughs> introduced you too. Well done. All right, fantastic. To move right along, I want to introduce to you the master and commander of all things guest-related, cool, awesome, and very handsome, the incredible Jesse James Felice. <laughs> How you guys doing? Welcome to KatsuCon. This is 18, right? We got 18 years! Alright, so we got some guests to introduce. First up is Yaya Han. She wants to say a little bit. Come on, give it up for Yaya! Hello, everybody. How is, how is everyone doing? Yeah, well, I just gotta say, the first time I went to KatsuCon, was in 2001. So I, I've been coming to this convention for a very long time. I used to compete in the costume contest and I used to do the art shows and uh, it was just, you know, I've always loved this convention. So I'm really absolutely thrilled that they invited me to come out this weekend and uh, do panels and be involved in the cosplay programming. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Yaya and I've been cosplaying for over 12 years, going on 13. And uh, I have a panel tonight that is called Sociology of Cosplay at 9 p.m. And then tomorrow, I will be judging both craftsmanship and performance for the big cosplay, costume masquerade. 
And uh, so if you're entering the masquerade, you will be seeing me tomorrow. Uh, also, after the costume masquerade, if you guys haven't heard yet, the World Cosplay Summit preliminaries for the United States is here at KatsuCon. And I have the honor of being the hostess for it. So please, this is going to be absolutely an amazing show. I mean, this is the Olympics of cosplay. You will see the best of the best going head to toe for head to head for a chance to go to Japan and compete against uh, 16 other countries. So it's a really, really big deal. So come and uh, join me here on stage, okay? Thank you, guys. See you around. All right, next up we have fight choreographer extraordinaire and voice actor Chris Ayers! Howdy guys, I'm gonna make this really quick because uh, there are a bunch of people out here uh, waiting to, uh, to get on stage. Um, I, I just want to let everybody know, uh, glad to be back. I love this show. I have got, um, in just a few minutes, I've got the Mock Combat for Cosplay Workshop. Uh, some of you come out, uh, learn to beat the snot out of your friends and not hurt anybody while you're doing it. Uh, I'll be in and out and wandering around all weekend, so uh, please find me and say hi. Jesse! See ya! Everybody say bye, Chris! Bye, Chris! Next up we have... Get over here! Oh wait, that's the wrong game. You're, you're a street fighter, not Mortal Kombat, right? Yes. Alright, we got Chris Bevins. <laughs> Greetings! Hello! This is my first Cats Con. I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, the big reason I'm here, though, is to talk all about Princess Jellyfish, new show coming up from Funimation in a couple weeks. We have premieres all three days, premieres and Q&As all three days. Please come see me, see Josh Greeley, come see, the, come see the one of the most amazing shows ever. I'm really excited about it. Also, I'm here doing, uh, I'll be talking about Italia a little bit, I'll be doing some directing panels and all sorts of other fun stuff. So please come out and see me, I'll sign your stuff and all that fun stuff. Thank you for having me. Stop that, put that down. All right, next up we have the Clockwork Dolls. Come on, make some noise. Hello everyone, it's fabulous for us to be back. We were here last year, we had such an amazing time that we definitely wanted to come back. We have a whole series of steampunk panels for you today. I want to thank everyone who came to the Make Your Own Mini Top Hat panel earlier today. That was so much fun, made it such a success. Um, later on today at 7.30, we have a Victorian Manners panel. Tomorrow, we've got a couple of things. The steampunk show and tells at 10.30, and our lovely Colette will be teaching us all about corsets at 1 o'clock. And then on Sunday, please come to our tea party, which is at 12.15. Thank you so much for bringing us back again, and happy 18th birthday. All right, as if they needed any introduction, we're going to have, have them come out. Daniel and Jillian Coughlin. Okay, they, they disappeared. Okay, they disappeared, but uh, when they come back, we'll reintroduce them. But uh, next up, we have Richard and Ellen Epcar. Hello. I was an adventurer like you until I took an arrow to the knee. Hello, Washington, D.C. Yeah! How are you? It's like grab that away from me. Did you see that? It's like grabbed it away. How you guys doing? We're excited to be here. We're really, really happy to be here and see you guys. And I hope you'll come to all our panels. I'm going to plug mine first. I have an outtake panel t tomorrow night. We're doing outtakes from Bo 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 and Noen and Luke Bond the Third. Come see that. And Ellen's got a panel. I've got a panel tomorrow at 2 o'clock, Women in Anime. We're going to explore the different roles that women have, have done in the history of anime and where those roles are today and where we would like to see those going in the future. So there. Anyway, we're really excited to be here. Thank you guys for having us. We hope to see each and every one of you come by and say hi. 
we want to say hello to each and every one of you. How do you do? Hi. 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 Goodbye. All right. Thank you, Richard and Ellen Epcar. Next, we have voice actor Greg Ayers. They were giving him some weird looks at the White House this morning with the pink hair. So, Secret Service was, uh, it was, it was good times. Hey guys. Wow, I feel like Courtney Love in a police lineup. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be quick. Uh, I've got a bunch of fun stuff, uh, but most importantly, uh, my buddies Andy and Rob Lance and I will be DJing tonight at some rumbly, noisy room downstairs. Uh, I'm doing a Yowie panel tomorrow. Wink, 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 wink. Uh, and it's just a fun free-for-all panel on Sunday. So this is my 10th Katsukon, I think. It's ninth or 10th. So I'm pretty stoked to be here. And I finally got to go to the White House looking like this. So thank you, guys. I'll see you later. Who do I give this microphone to? Well, I'll just talk. No, I'm kidding. Who gets this mic? There, Jesse, here, take this from me. It's a microphone, and I can't stop talking into it. Thank you so much. Give it up for Greg Ayers. I think Izumi Matsumoto is next up. Are you out there, Izumi? Everybody say hi, Izumi. Hi. Hello. My name is Izumi Izumi Matsumoto. Come to my panel. Me too. Tomorrow. Next time, panel will be on the panel. Please come. Thank you so much. Next up, we have voice actor J. Michael Tatum! Hello! Oh my god, you're all so spread out. I love you all. Hi! I'm very excited to be here. This is my first ever KatsuCon. So I'm really, really excited. You have to be gentle with me. I'm very nervous. Not really, this is awesome, you're kidding, this is great. So, uh, I've got a lot of really cool stuff going on. Uh, I have my kind of 18 and up special body J. Michael Tatum pen. It's called J. Michael Tatum WTF 101. 18 and up, 18 and up, very important. That's tonight at 11 o'clock. Please show up if you're old enough. It's fun, it's just me making a fool of myself in a very dirty way, so uh, I need all the support I can get. It'd be very depressing if only three people shows up, but hey, party. Um, yeah. And as with all cons, you know, if you guys see me wandering around the con, as you will, because this place is amazing, feel free to stop me. I like hugs. If you want to glop, or glomp, as the term is, don't, please, I love hugs, I love hugs. If you want to run and hug at me, just know that I may move out of the way. <laughs> because I have a bad back. But I love you all, thanks for having me, let's have an awesome katsu con! I'm going to take this from me now. I'm going to eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Can you do that again? <laughs> no, 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 no. How, how many chances do you get to have a voice actor do that? Oh, I've never had one. Next we have Jan Scott Frazier! Thank you. I am really, really happy to be back here. I, my first KatsuCon was KatsuCon 2 which was, uh, I think that was before we had like the moon and the earth had completely formed and stuff. Um, I, I was really excited this year because uh, I haven't been here in six years and uh, Mr. Matsumoto was invited and we were business partners a long time ago. We haven't seen each other in 15 years so last night we saw each other for the first time in all that time. Super exciting. I get to see people I haven't seen in a long time and uh, I'm going to have some great programming so please check it out. I got a really great art and creativity workshop and thank you. Oh, I got a table in the artist alley too. Visit. Next up, we have a man that is wearing a Yoshi T-shirt. Josh, really? What's up, guys? Really, really excited to be here. I've been wanting to come here for a long time. I've heard so many great things, and this is all inspiring. Also here to be pipping out Princess Jellyfish, like Mr. Bevins. Please, please, please come check it out. In fact, we'll be showing the first uh, premiere and Q&A in about 30 minutes in the video's premiere room, so come check it out. And guys, just because it has the P word in it, princess, for those who don't know what P is, <laughs> come check it out. It is an amazing, amazing show, full of laughs, drama, 
It's awesome. Please, please come check it out. And if you see me walking around, please feel free to come up and chat. I love making some new friends. You guys have fun. Have a good one. Don't take this from me. I want that shirt, man. You can't have it. Oh. Uh, next we have one of our bands, Kaza! Uh, thank you very much. We are so happy to be at Katsukon and we hope you guys make it to our live show tonight. Uh, we are performing with Kiryu. Uh, Kiryu is performing, I think, from 10.30. And we're gonna perform from 11 o'clock. So, and we'll be at the artist alley all the time, most of the time. So, I hope you guys come see us. Thank you. <laughs> Next, if you would, please show some appreciation for Kido. Hello everyone, we are Kiryu with the Big Sexy. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, this is the first time here uh, for us, uh, but i really, really happy and glad to uh, join this convention. So we're going to enjoy this one. And uh, to tomorrow, uh, to, no, tonight from 10.30, uh, we're going to do concert here. And after this, from 11, so Kaze gonna pray here too. So come to see us. So other from the member Masa. We're gonna perform tonight at 10:30. So please come over and witness it. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, let's have fun tonight. Yeah. We'll see you at 10:30. Thank you, have a big sex with you tonight. Bye. Next we have cosplay mogul Linda Lee. Come on guys, make a little noise. Hey, what's up you guys? How are you guys doing? I don't hear you guys. Okay. Well anyway, I'm here again for the 18th birthday of Katsukon, and I'm super stoked to be here. Um, and I will be cosplaying tomorrow um, at one to two, signing with Megan. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Claymore, um, but we're going to be debuting our Claymore cosplay together. Um, and I'll be having my usual panels of wig styling and makeup stuff, like makeup stuff. Yeah, um, tomorrow as well, and on Sunday. So um, it's going to be one to two. I think if you guys have my Twitter, I will be tweeting where, because I do not know where yet. Okay, and yeah. All right, hopefully you guys have fun, and um, I'll be hanging out. Okay, bye. And we have another cosplay icon, Megan Marie. just yet. I'm that chick that Linda mentioned. Um, if you guys don't know me, I used to be an associate editor at Game Informer Magazine, and now I currently work at Crystal Dynamics, uh, working on the new Tomb Raider game. So, I'm actually here cosplaying, but I have a panel a little bit, in a little bit tonight. I think it starts at 10 o'clock, where I'm going to talk about getting into the game industry. So, I hope you guys show up. I've been working really hard to get as much information out there for you guys as possible. I'm very excited about it. Um, I have a signing session after that, and then tomorrow is uh, intro to cosplay modeling, and then a signing session with Linda, like she mentioned, debuting our Claymore cosplay, which has been a very, very long time coming. So, very excited to be here. Thank you guys for having me, and if you see me on the show floor, just come and talk to me, ask me questions. I'm very approachable, so thank you. But I don't have a dagger in my hand. <laughs> Next we have webcomic writers T. Campbell and Phil Kahn from Gilded Age. We're also voice actors. You may remember me from my role as Pikachu on Dragon Ball and uh, Yoshi on Parks and Recreation. But we're here not for really important stuff. We're here because we've been out of the spell for a while, out of the fandom. We just want to make sure everyone out of you here knows what your priorities are. So everyone could just take a moment and raise your right hand 
and together we will recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the manga. If you could rise, too, that'd be extra honorable and such, but, you know, don't kill yourselves or anything, we're just up here. Oh, good. There you are. Excellent participants. Okay. Please repeat after me. Sharp crowd. I pledge allegiance to the manga that was not produced in America and to the torrents chock full of scans one forum under mods indefensible with mobile suits and seven dragon balls. You may be seated. Gilded Age. It's a good comic. It's at our table. Artist Alley. Check us out. We're at the exit. Peace! <laughs> Next we have a man that very much uh, means a lot to me, especially coming from my childhood. I watched a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles growing up. We have Stan Sakai! Thank you. This is my first time at Coxicon, and I'm looking forward to a great experience. I had the honor of providing the cover for the program book this year, and I'm also uh, hosting a workshop on creating comics and one on Usagi Ojimbo. So come and see me. I'm also going to have a table in Artist Alley. Thank you. Can you please show some appreciation for Steve Yoon! Sorry to disappoint you guys, I'm not Jeremy Lin. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm Steve, I'm here with Harmony Gold uh, to talk about Robotech. We have a live action picture. Uh, we already had our panel earlier today, but we'll have another panel on Sunday if you missed that. Uh, also, any giant robot fans in here? Alright, if you like giant robots, you can come to my panel tonight at 7.30, Giant Robot Rumble, where we're going to argue about who's going to win in a fight between giant robots as if we're back in fifth grade. Uh, and, you know, instead of socializing and going out and partying with people, you can argue about robots with me. And I'll call you a loser for showing up. Uh, and if that's not nerdy enough, tomorrow there's a panel where we're going to argue about which anime girl would win in a fight. So instead of going out and talking to girls, you can argue about imaginary girls in my panel. So I'll see you guys there. And our last guest for the evening, but certainly not least, and if you've never read his article about anime, you need to. You should talk to him about it, it's fantastic. Robert Aldrich! Oh, he's, he's not here. Good morning, hi, welcome everybody. We talked, we know each other, we're friendly, we're family, that kind of thing. Come on, hook me up, there we go. Excellent. I'm here promoting my website, teachthesky.com, where you can get the finest internet literature available at the internet on that website on the internet. Everybody good? Fantastic. <laughs> Teach this guy that really? No, oh, come on. Excellent. Um, we want to move on real fast here, guys. We've introduced our wonderful guest for Chapter Count 18. We're finally legal. And now we need to. Yeah. We now need to introduce a couple of departments to come up here and talk about some very important things. So, real fast, real quick, real fast, we're going to bring up the charity auction people. Come up! Faster, faster, faster. Five, four, three, two. Ah! My life flashed before my eyes and it's just reruns of Transformers. We're so sorry. I hoped you wouldn't pass that milestone until at least a couple more years. <laughs> Hi everybody, how you doing? We are the Charity Auction. I'm Katie. And I'm Raquel. And this year, as always, our Charity Auction is going to benefit not only the American Cancer Society, but in keeping with our theme, in keeping with the theme, it's going to be to the Cherry Tree Endowment Fund to keep the maintenance of our cherry trees in the lovely D.C. metro area. Quite everybody comes from the nation and the world over to see, and I know that because I've lived in D.C. my whole life. And you see a whole lot of people around the cherry trees, and it's really fun and lovely. Now, what we'd also like to mention is most important stuff, time and place. 10.30 to 12.30. 
Sunday morning, live one. That's basically right upstairs. It's a level right above us. Now, we'll have a ton of stuff up for auction. We've already got some amazing donations in. The dealer's room hasn't even been open for like more than 10 hours. And, and just to show an example of, of something, this is not just an average Katsukon shirt, which you can find in dealer's room. But if you notice, there's all kinds of scribble. The scribble is every single guest signature on this shirt that is only found at our auction. And you will bid on this, hopefully, and every proceeds goes to both charities. So please come out. We love the support every year, and we hope to see amazing, wonderful people for amazing stuff. All right? Thank you very much, guys. Back to your lovely program. Thank you, my lovely dear. Next up, we need to introduce a very important and critical department that will tell you about safety. It is the medical department. Every year there are a couple of horror stories that wander around, and these are the wonderful, talented, and capable people who keep the horror stories from being kind of rumors and, oh, that happened to, oh my dear sweet mercy. Where is our medical department keeping the bubble? Really? Nothing? They're out saving lives, people. They're out saving lives. They're making it safer for another world, for a better world, something. Yes, run with it. I don't want to try to speak for them as professionals that they are, but I would say you guys are con professionals. You understand, you're not con professionals, but you're con experienced veterans. You understand. Drink water, actually sleep, eat some real food. No, cocky doesn't count. I know that's a running joke, but you'd be amazed how many people actually think it. Get enough rest. Shower occasionally, please. All right, since medical is all saving lives, because that's what they do, next up will be security. Don't leave me hanging, people. Security. Just since... Okay. <laughs> since security, unfortunately, cannot be here, I would like to actually sing their praises. I have been witness to several events where security needed to be called, and they were able to take care of things quickly, professionally, and excellently. Security will be around if you have any problems, if you have any questions, please seek them out. They can help, they will help, and they know how to help. Finally, we have the Volunteers Department. Come on, people! Yay! Volunteers, here you go. And she's wearing a Voltron shirt, people. Come on. Okay, so Volunteers is down where like the dealer's room is and everything. We are in desperate need of people to sit on panels so that all of our panels are on time. And if you want to sit and if you want to work security, we have security positions too. So come out and come to Ridge Desk A downstairs where the gamers room is and uh, the rave will be held tonight. Uh, I hope to see you all there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have met the cast, you have met the crew, you have seen the magic that is going to be happening here this weekend. Go forth, enjoy Katsukon 18. Yeah! Are you not entertained? Yeah! Fantastic, enjoy it. Go forth, thank you very much for coming to opening ceremonies. Have a wonderful time. Peace out.